What's up everybody? Grid by Guru here and today what we are going to do is I'm working primarily with Pinex US and I'm going to show you how to transfer some crypto into your account. I will be using my global Pinex account um, to transfer some crypto in. However, it all works the same. There's a couple different things you need to make sure of. And if you make sure of those items, you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, up here, I got two tabs. The first one that is open right now is going to be my Pinex US account. The second one that's not open is my global account. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my US account. So say you're transferring money in from Coinbase or from uh, Kraken, um, any, any type of other exchange, and you're wanting to put it onto Pinex to take advantage of their, their bots or as at where right now we're at 30,000 um, with Bitcoin and you're thinking it may go down to 15, you're wanting to start a moon bot, this would be a good time to end up watching and figuring out how to get some money onto Pinex. Now, the first thing you're going to end up doing is with Pinex US, you're going to go up to the wallet. Okay. You're going to click on that. You can see I don't have anything in there currently. And I'm going to click on deposit. Now, more than likely, when you click on that, you're going to end up seeing that tether is going to be what you're wanting to deposit and you're going to see that it's on the erc20 blockchain personally i don't use the erc20 if i can help it because it is expensive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over and i'm going to click on trc20 now when you are depositing money the blockchain is important if you choose a different type of blockchain, it will end up, um, you could lose your funds. You could also end up costing yourself more than what it would to actually go and get the funds moved over. So there has been times and people I know that have moved like a lot of money, like $25,000, and it cost them maybe $800 for them to contact the company, the company to go do some research and then figure out where that those funds went. So choosing the correct blockchain is important as well as choosing the right coin, okay? So for this one, this example, what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna use TRC20. You're gonna see that the minimum, de minimum deposit is one and this, is going to be your address. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to click copy, and that's going to be my address that I'm sending to. So I'm going to come back over, I'm going to go to my global account, I'm going to go over here to wallet, and I'm going to click withdraw. Now I have a USDT tether already pulled up, and I have about a hundred 100 uh, USDT that is available. So the address that we copied earlier is the address that I'm posting right there. Okay. So I did post that address. The quantity I want is I'm going to end up sending 101 USDT. Now down here it says transaction fee one. You will get over here, it will say you will get 100 USDT. Now, here's the fun part about that. Pinex has this agreement to where if it's an internal transfer, that means that the fees are waived from my understanding. So keep that in mind that if you're sending from Pinex to Pinex, you will end up getting the full amount. Now, over here, Here's our, or our blockchain. I'm sending it to ERC20. If I were to say and click on ERC20, I'm going to end up paying $25. And it does try to give you a little hint. 
So if I were to post the TRC20 address as an ERC20 address, it's going to say up here it doesn't match the format, which is good. That's kind of gives you a warning, but just be mindful of that. Okay. So there's others where a BEP20, that's going to be 0.8 tether that you owe, so like 80 cents. Um, HECO, I don't use too many of the other ones. Um, HECO is going to be 0.1, so like 10 cents. And then OMNI is 30. That's expensive as well. So again, I like TRC20. That's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to post my address in there, the one that I'm depositing to, and I'm going to say 101. Okay. Now, I have everything set up. I've got my TRC20 address that I'm posting to or depositing to. I'm withdrawing my USD Tether. I'm posting it to a USD Tether address. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Submit. So it gives you an update. Are you sure you want to withdraw this? Yes. All right. Now, here is where a lot of people get hung up. A lot of times people will go ahead and they'll come down and they'll put in their, uh, their Google um, Authenticator uh, number. Don't do that yet. Okay. What you need to do is go over here and you're going to click Send that is going to send a verification code to this email whatever email is listed there i've already got it so i'm going to come down and i'm going to put that code in now that code is not going to change that's not going to change for i'm sure that it does time out however it is not going to change like your google uh, code will. So then after you get your email code in, you then go to your Google and then you get your, um, your code. So I'm going to let mine, I'm going to give it a second. It's got like five more seconds and it's going to switch it up. All right. So here we go. check and I'm going to click confirm so then it's going to end up withdrawal request successful okay now I will say with going in between exchanges it does usually take a little bit longer however if we go back over to my global account and I end up clicking on my balance I've already I've already pulled it and changed it around a little bit, you're going to see okay, that I have a total balance of 101. It just came through. Again, it is very quick, very easy. Now, that is how you withdraw and deposit okay, with Pinex. I hope this video has helped you out. Um, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have thoughts, ideas, please post them. Um, the, big, the big thing is making sure you have the right blockchain. Make sure you have the right blockchain. Um, make sure you're sending it to the right address. But that is going to be how you do it. As always, everybody, I hope this helps you out some. I hope that this works with you. Um, and I hope that you understand this a little bit more. As always, if this video has helped you, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that like button. It does help Google get my video out. I do get some, some money back from YouTube. So you doing those things, getting my video out, will help support additional content coming your way. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope everybody has a great day trading, and I want you guys to stay green. I'll see you next time.